As number 10 denies allegations that Boris squeezed the thigh of a female journalist in 1999, should sexual impropriety disqualify politicians from office? In not-too-distant times, politicians would step down even at the slightest hint of improper conduct, including if found to be having an affair. Is Boris's character now thrown into question? Or should we follow Health Secretary Matt Hancock's thought that Mr Johnson has never lectured other people on their private lives and that we should concentrate on politics? We're on the streets of Durham to find out your opinion. Do you think 20 years is too long to yeah. take? Yeah. 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 yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. In those days, it was a, a mark of affection. You know, you sort of, are you all right today? Something like that. It's not, they want anything sexual. So they're just dragging up, yeah, dragging the dirt um, up about yeah. Boris, yeah. I think people's personal lives need to be left out of it to some extent, but when it's things like this that are in the public domain, then it, it is important that MPs conduct themselves in a reasonable fashion. Uh, and even before they're MPs, people should just con- conduct themselves professionally anyway. I think the fact that he's been willing to disregard the law and behave in this kind of dictatorial fashion is more important to the politics rather than the personal. Um, There's been a number of different things about him that would build up this kind of composite picture of the way he treats women and also I think uh, lots of what happened just about two months ago when the police were called to the home, Mm. that was all covered over. Again, I don't like the expression smoke without fire, but there's lots and lots of this, but I think we should focus on the politics and the way that he's subverting democracy in the UK. I think there's a big mountain made out of a molehill, basically. She should have slapped him one and that slap forgotten. 